flying over the state, new technology that can make your future flights safer. Reporter Amanda Mason was on board as this Honeywell technology went up 20,000 feet in the air. Well, it was a unique flying experience taking off on a large Boeing 757 with around 25 people on an aircraft that can carry more than 200 passengers. Now, the goal of the flight was to test four new different types of technology. Engines, avionics, Wi-Fi connection, and even the new technology upgrade, smart runway, smart landing, is being tested on this flight. Which alerts the pilot when they're um, on the runway so that it eliminates any collisions or accidents, anything like that. It's, it's fun being at the kind of the leading edge of technology and, and, and helping create things that, that bring a safer and, and better flying to the public. This Boeing 757 is the largest aircraft among the fleet of five at this testing site at Sky Harbor Airport. Experts say the best way to test their safety equipment is in the most extreme temperatures, which is why they test their flights in Arizona. We certify an engine. We go to the hottest places we can to test. and We go up to Yellowknife Canada to do really cold testing. We've done zero G testing. According to Honeywell, this is the only aircraft in the world with its third engine location. We've got a third engine actually mounted on the side of this aircraft, um, and that allows us to run the main engines, um, and we can still fly safely while we're testing a third engine. We're 20,000 feet above central Arizona here in the cockpit where most of the testing goes on, and one of the things that they're testing, which is not only on domestic and international flights, is a 3D weather radar. So it's scanning the sky in front of us. Every about 20 seconds, it rebuilds this three-dimensional buffer of all that data that's out there, and then it presents it to the pilots on the screens up front. This is co-pilot Helmut Egeling's last flight. He's flown for 53 years and seen a drastic change in how planes operate. Technology has changed as far as automation is concerned. Uh, the philosophy is to get everything automated to uh, reduce the pilot's workload. Uh, and, you know, it's necessary because the sky is getting crowded. There's a lot of airplanes flying. New high-speed Wi-Fi technology, JetWave, is slowly becoming a trend. Instead of ground air connection, they are setting up Wi-Fi connections by satellite. Now, you can currently see some of Honeywell's tested, te tested technology on Southwest and United Airlines. The third engine still has one more test before it is approved and released. In Phoenix, Amanda Mason, Cronkite News.